My name is Viviana Sarmiento, and I am a political scientist and researcher from Colombia, and I'm here at USIP as part of the International Visitors Leadership Program in Women, Peace, and Security. Women, Peace, and Security efforts are pretty recent in the country, even though the Security Council Resolution 1325 is more than 20 years old, and women have been involved as combatants and victims throughout the history of the armed conflict. It was only until the 2010s when women started participating more actively as negotiators in the peace agreement between the FARC guerrilla and the Colombian government in Havana, Cuba, and that meant the inclusion of a gender perspective in both the design and the implementation of the 2016 peace agreement. First of all, I think the Colombian experience can teach about the need to include a gender perspective for long-lasting peace and how to design policies during the peace negotiations that involve women both as designers of those policies but also as beneficiaries because women have been victims and ex-combatants throughout the history of the conflict and that means that they have a special needs. So for example, in the topic of reincorporation, you need to create policies that are especially focused on female ex-combatants because particularly when it came to the time of the FARC guerrilla, there were many women involved in the conflict acts as combatants, which is different from probably other conflict experience where most of the combatants were men. And additionally, women have been involved in peace building efforts, leading organizations and initiatives regarding reconciliation and reparation and transitional justice, both in their communities and nationwide. Particularly in the local level, women are, have always been involved in peace building, leading organizations and community-based work. Women are the main builders of society, especially in territories where uh, men have left because of the war or have been killed or have disappeared because of, of the actions of the war. Currently, under the, the new government's policy of total peace or paz total, um, it's a new opportunity to include women and kind of repeat and learn from the lessons from the 2016 peace agreement regarding the need to include uh, a gender perspective and the needs of women who have been victims of the different actors, including the ELN guerrilla, but also other armed illegal actors who are in the territories and where where the negotiations will take place because some of these negotiations will take place locally. And in that sense, women's organizations and victims' organizations that have a, a women lead or are, have a lot of members that are women have to be involved in those negotiations as well. So there is an opportunity and a chance to include either a gender perspective or the needs of women uh, in pills building and the policies that will come out out of those negotiations. <laughs>